Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. <clears throat> I've actually been up for a little while. I'm extremely exhausted, but I'm now having my first cup of coffee. And by first, I do mean first. I will have more than one cup of coffee uh, in a day. May not be the best best thing to do, but um, sleepy, which gets us to what we're going to talk about today. Um, but we'll just take a minute out, see who's on, see what's going on. Oh, we got somebody. What are you, you up this early? Oh, snap. What's up, Andrew V? Oh, shit. I got my early morning routine going, too. <laughs> what is that? Like the socks or the, or the shoes first? Which one comes first? Everyone has a difference. Mm. So today, um, you know, every Wednesday, I'll be here to talk to anyone that wants to talk. Um, out in New York, we're all quarantined. Um, some spots are reopening, some are not. So they might be bored people. Some of you guys might be awake, some some of you guys might not. Um, so I would like to chat, but I also will bring something to talk about. <clears throat> I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. That That's what got you up early, Andrew? <laughs> that's your coffee? Doesn't that get you sleepy, though? <laughs> all right, all right. All right, so what I'm going to pull up before we get into um, the broadcast, too. I call this a broadcast because it's just me. On Thursdays, I podcast. On Fridays, I podcast. On Thursdays, I podcast with Will Colazzo and UFC veteran Chris Cope. That's MMA Smash podcast. You find out on MMA Smash um, podcast page. Now, that's a podcast. It's three hosts. We engage. We talk. We conversate. We, we show things. We bring guests. Um, Fridays, I have something like that, too, with my boy, the big guy, Steve Manny, the After Hours show. Um, but then, you know, I came up with this idea of, like, this broadcasting, where it's just one person and the audience, the people out there. <laughs> oh, you at work? Thank you. Thank you for being essential and providing whatever it is you do. Um, they deemed me non-essential, so I, I, I can't work. <laughs> I can't work, Ricky. Uh, but you the man, Ricky. I miss you, buddy. I, I miss getting punched by you. That's one of my gym buddies. I miss that guy every day. I miss all my gym buddies. Um, he's good, too. He's, he's, he's a hell of a fighter. Um, Andrew, you're only on your second one? You're only on your second one. It's, um, I would have thought you'd been on your eighth one by now. <laughs> all right, so, um. So in the broadcast, it's just me bugging out with people. It's me uh, bugging out with people and, uh, you know, shooting shit, talking about life, talking about current events, whatever comes to be. I don't really plan Wednesdays, but I always bring a little something. So uh, last week we talked about my 10 tips during the quarantine. Um, so I don't know if you guys checked that out. Shouts out, Tim Campbell. Um, so I don't know if you guys checked that out. Uh, but it was my 10 tips. I'll quickly review them. This is what helps me getting through this shitty-ass quarantine stuck at home. Um, quick ways to help with the quarantine blues. One, get a hobby. Two, get a distraction. Three, clean up and grooming. Four, study something. Five, fresh air. Six, reach out to a friend or a loved one each day. Seven, when on social media, don't just watch the news. Find fun, too. Eight, move, exercise, or train. Nine, live in the moment. 10, watch my podcast. I break those down a little more in depth uh, in depth on my broadcast one. So if you guys want to check it out, you have to go back, find the video, check it out. I'll make a library. Today, we're going to talk about ambition. Ambition is one of my favorite words in the English, English uh, dictionary. I like to consider myself ambitious. Um, I respect all people who are ambitious. You know, am, am, ambitious people are dreamers, right? But they're not dreamers who just dream. They're dreamers who execute. All right. That that's the main, the main goal, the main concept of what being ambitious is. You can't just have desire. You gotta execute. You gotta you gotta go after it. It's okay to fail. You can fail and be ambitious, but you have to try. Okay. So, on on, on terms of, uh, I hear you. I hear you, Ricky. On terms of um, ambition. I, I like to break ambition down into three major parts. For me, ambition has three parts, consistency, motivation, and diligence. Um, let's break down consistency first. Consistency, every day, sacrifice, show up. What I mean every day, sacrifice, show up, is um, to succeed in anything you guys want to do, whether it be a craft, a skill, a job, 
um, a career, uh, whatever. Um, uh, it could be to gain something material that you want. You know, ambition means to acquire. Um, so in order to be successful, you have to, you have to chop at it every day. You know what I'm saying? A sculptor, a sculptor who makes this beautiful art out of stone, you know, he don't just get to sit there and like carve this motherfucker out. Like he has to be there like tick, 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 tick. It takes thousands, thousands, hundreds of thousands of little tick, 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 tick fucking hours hours to make whatever sculpture it is. Um, I, I look at it like that. You got to chip at it. You got to chop at it. You know what I'm saying? Tick at it every day, every day, you know, every day, um, in my case as a podcast to maybe drop a video or every day I'm researching, uh, content or every day I'm sharing content, um, in my training life. You know, I started training, um, late, late as fuck. I've been training in martial arts for about 11 years. I started fighting in my thirties, you know what I mean? Like that's ambition. That's crazy to fight in your thirties. But I knew that I was going to die one day and um, time just continues to pass you. So it was now and never, you know what I mean? So back to consistency, what I'm getting at is that <clears throat> don't let any obstacles mean anything. All right. When you're consistent, you could defeat obstacles. You can, you can jump hurdles. All right. Baby steps turn into large leaps, all right? Everyone talks about that large leap of faith. Take that large leap of faith. No one talks about the baby steps that got you to the cliff before you took that large leap of faith, all right? So baby steps every single day, no matter how minute seeming, if you continue to contribute something to your goal, your dream, your career, whatever you ambitious about and for, you, you will... You will reach a level of success. You know, there's different there's different degrees to this shit, but you will find what you're looking for. You got to keep at it. Now, consistency quickly can be defeated by the next part of ambition, motivation. If you don't have motivation, you're not going to be consistent. But hey, guys, here's a secret. Consistency has shit to do with motivation. I'm not motivated every day. There's plenty of times I am unmotivated. And that's when one or two things happen. One, I either force myself and I get over it and I do what needs to be done. Because if you're ambitious, it's about what needs to be done. It's about what needs to be done to steer the ship. It's not about, it's not about you per se. You know what I'm saying? It's about the goal. It's about the team, whatever the case may be. Um, so you got to force it. You know, you got to not think about it. You got to do it. The other thing with motivation is um, sometimes... You know, everyone sits around and thinks motivation is something you go find. They think it's something you 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 walk in and you're like, oh shit, I just spotted motivation over there. You know what I mean? Like you gotta choose to be inspired. You gotta go get motivated, right? So if there's days I get up and I'm like, shit, I don't wanna do this right now. And I say, shut up, you're the sleeping giant. Get the fuck up, go get it done. Or because I'm human too, there's days I'm like, fuck that. I don't want to be the sleeping giant. I'll be the sleeping bitch. I don't care. I quit. I'm done. And I want to roll up the blankie and I just want to chill the fuck out. You know, I don't want to do shit. That's when it's time to trigger yourself. Choose to be inspired. You can't be consistent if you're not motivated, but motivation comes and goes. It fluctuates. Sometimes it could disappear entirely. You have to create motivation. Tips on creating motivation. Think about a book that inspired you. Think about a person that inspires you, a family member, a friend, a celebrity. Think about the shit they do that you think is gangster and you respect it. I don't mean gangster like violence. I mean gangster like, yo, this guy's getting it. Yo, this girl is getting it. They doing this. They doing that. Emulate that. Emulate that. That could be you. They're there because they were consistent, because they were um, motiva uh, motivational. Um, they motivate themselves. And they were there because of that part three. I didn't get to that. I'm not going to say that part three. <laughs> but they're there because they're ambitious, right? So you got to be consistent. You got to apply something to it every day. And in order to do that and be good at that stage, I would recommend taming and managing your own motivation. I'll put on songs that remind me what I want to do in life. I put on songs that make me feel like I can face anybody. I can take on anybody. I ain't scared of no man. Make me feel like I climb any mountain. You know what I'm saying? Music's a big one, but it's not music for everybody. Some people, it's a memory. Some people, it's a book. It's a thought. 
That was me on Monday and Tuesday laughing my ass off. I didn't feel like working, so I said, fuck it. <laughs> Using a couple of sick days. Hey, respectable, dog. I've used my sick days, too. You know, I've used my sick days when I wasn't sick to go somewhere fun. I've used my sick days because I was sick. Or I used my sick days because I just needed a mental break. Um, that's something you got to manage, too. You know, uh, when you're ambitious, thank you for bringing that up, Ricky. When you're ambitious, you could burn out, you know. And we we'll all will reach that point where we feel a burnout coming. When you feel out burnout coming, you do have to pause or take breaks. Or um, what I like to do instead of taking breaks is I like to balance and substitute. So I, I'll have I'll stress myself out at points of the day, and then other points of the day I say, okay, for an hour, I'm not thinking about no shit that I need to do, no problem that still needs to be solved, no task that still needs to be done. I'm just gonna do me. You know what I'm saying? So thank you for uh, Ricky bringing that up. You you have to. Um, you have to manage your motivation, but you also have to manage your stress because stress is a huge motivation killer, right? And in spite of stress, you can still find motivation when a time is needed, like music, triggers. You got trigger. But in the case of Ricky, it was better not to necessarily trigger, but it was better to take a time out. That's something you have to learn as a human being. You got to learn about yourself. Thank you for that input, Ricky. Are you at work today? Well, maybe not because you're talking to me. If you was working, then you probably wouldn't be able to talk to me. Um, so, all right, so again, consistency, motivation. Let's talk about number three. Let me check my phone real quick. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry, boo-boo. My, give me, guys, give me one second. My daughter dropped her bottle. So I'm going to get her a bottle, and then we'll finish three. What's up, baby boo? You dropped the bottle. But look, you got you to not drop it. There you go. You better now so I can get back to work. All right, we're almost done with this. These these going to be short and sweet. Uh, thank you, everybody who tuned in. I thank everyone watching. What's up, Paul? Thank you. Thank you. Paul agrees. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate that. Uh, Ricky says, I think of myself as an ambitious person. I've been busting my ass off working for the past five years. That's what's up. And you definitely are. If you already know off of the head, you could, you could say how long you've been busting your ass. That means you've been busting your ass. So shout out to you. You're one of the people that are inspiring others. So continue to be ambitious because I guarantee there's people that see it, Ricky. I guarantee there's people around you that are watching you and, and trying to emulate you. All right. So continue that hard work, man. Nice, nice. He's actually at work, but he can't talk. All right, cool. That's what's up. That's what's up. I know you work hard because I see how you work in the gym, bro. I, I see you work really hard in the gym. Um, usually the guys that work hard in the gym work hard at everything. You know what I mean? I see what Andrew said. Yeah, you definitely right. You need to have that balance. Thank you, guys. Definitely. Yeah, you got to have balance. If you don't have balance, you break. You know what I mean? All right. So so the third thing. <clears throat> um, just give me one moment. I was trying to remember my little catchphrase for it. Diligence. Diligence. Diligence might sound like consistency, but it's not. There's a difference. The, the, being diligent is not just being consistent. Being diligent is being consistent and precise, all right? Um, failures will happen. Mistakes will happen. Um, if you get good at balancing, you'll get good at adapting. You have to adapt. When things go wrong, you got to adapt. The game plan changes. You have to, you know, you have to change how you execute things as it happens, as it occurs. Um, but the point I want to get at is do it and do it right. Um, too many people do it for the wrong reasons or too many people do things to half-ass. Time is precious. Time can be wasted. Make your time count. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the things that you like, the things that you do, do them diligently. Do them with respect for them, all right? Whether it be a craft, a job. If you do that, you'll find yourself caring. And once you find yourself caring about something, You'll take much better care of it, obviously. You know what I'm saying? And um, if you take care of it, it, it'll grow. It'll blossom. A dream a dream is like a flower, not to be cliche, but it really is. You know, it's like a seed. You plant the seed, and then you got to, you got to, to watch it grow, you got to make it grow. You got to cater to it every single day. So thank you, everyone, uh, that was on today. I appreciate all the comments. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Um, I hope you found my quick morning conversation interesting. I'll do this every Wednesday. Uh, before I go, if anybody has any questions or inputs that they want to add, now's the time. 
Uh, if anybody got any suggestions for next week, now's the time. I'm going to be doing this every Wednesday, probably around this 9 o'clock time. It seems good. I do it when my daughter's eating. She's in the background eating in a little high chair. She says hi. CJ says hi. All right. I think everybody's good. Thank you guys for the input. I'm about to sign out. So just want to say one last thing. Today's Wednesday. There's UFC on today for my UFC fans. It's uh, UFC on ESPN, Smith versus Tech Center. Uh, right after that, I'll be doing a post UFC live reactions with my MMA Smash buddies. All right. So check that out on the MMA Smash podcast page. You can find it on Facebook. Oh, okay. I didn't get to see the picture. Now I know what Paulie I'm talking to. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Really good to see you. Really good to see you. Um, this guy, he's known, big time actor. The the picture's so tiny. I, I didn't realize which Paul it was. I I, uh, I apologize. It's hard to track names. Um, he's been in everything from Sopranos to everything else. Um, I, I had the honor and the privilege of being in the movie with him. It was a lot of fun. I had a good time. It's called The Bloody Nun 2. It's actually directed by Will Colazzo. Uh, it's almost done editing. You have a good day, Ricky. And it'll be out soon. Thank you, Paul, for showing up. Um, <laughs> you were you were the funniest guy, one of the funniest guys I ever met. We had a blast on set. You cracked me up. Um, your scenes are hilarious. You're so good at just going in and out of these different characters. Much respect to you, Paul. Thank you for coming on. Um, so tonight on UFC, we will uh, be doing post-fight reactions. Me, Will Colazzo, UFC veteran Chris Cope. Check that out. Saturday we'll be doing post-reactions, and Thursday is our podcast. All right, guys? Thank you for tuning in. I'm signing out. Yo, peace and love to everybody. Respect to everybody. We're going through some tough times. We're all in the same ocean of fucking shit, but we're all in different boats. So respect each other. Try to um not to judge each other. And you know, let's let's all make this let's let's all make our, our lives on this planet while we're here. Some some good, some we can look back and, and be satisfied about it, right? Take care, guys. I love you all. I'm out of here. The sleeping giant. Peace out.